How to send a web report. Welcome and congratulations. You are here because you want to learn how to populate a new web page report and send to the NFIU. First, log in with your credentials. That's your username and password. On the top right is the name of the officer and the name of your institution, meaning you are recognized first as an entity and staff of that entity on the GoAML portal. So for the purpose of this session, let's start by creating a new report. Click on New Web Report. The aim of this demo is to see how we can successfully file a standard report to the NFIU. So what we have here, Reporting Entity Branch, at any point, once you click on Web Report, at any time, one thing you notice is that first at the top right corner of the portal, you see the name of the organization here. You will also see your profile name, meaning the system has already identified you. Anything done on this portal is done in your name, the CCO and the entity name. So let's start. The first field here is the transaction number. Click here to generate a unique transaction number, but you can actually create yours, but it's advisable to generate a transaction number. Then put the policy number there. Account. Under the account field, we enter the account number of ABC Insurance Brokers Limited. Now the account number here must be 10 digits NUBAN, while the account name of the organization is ABC Insurance Brokers Limited. The institution name, meaning the bank name. This should not be abbreviated. Enter just the first three letters of the name of the bank. You would be prompted automatically. When you click on the right and full name of bank, it will supply the SWIFT code in the SWIFT code field automatically. Then the bank branch name, account type. You have a drop box to pick from, which is current business. Destination leg. Hello and welcome back. Let us continue with the destination leg of this report. <laughs> Don't forget they are paying for a group life insurance on behalf of Dangote. So now we'll start with your own information. Like the earlier process, we entered your account number. Then we enter the account name of your organization. For demonstration's sake, which is Nikom Insurance PLC. Your banker's name is GT Bank. Account type, click on the applicable one for this as current business. The account should be active. The currency code is Nigerian Naira. Once the form is submitted, it will be locked from editing. It will still ask if you want to proceed. This is a complete report. If it's not completed, it will show. Submit. That's it. If your KYC details are collected and stored in a standard electronic format, at the time of accepting a customer, it will take a very short time to populate the mandatory fields. Ensure all customers conducting threshold-based transactions have supplied all necessary KYC details as mentioned above. This is a smart step to risk classifying your customers or transactions. For more on these and many more, please visit our website on www.glogconsult.com. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,